stage six, Janelle wanted. He simply felt he couldn't match the speed of the others. The commitment required was not there, and he dropped 10.48 to the winner. Bernhard was faster by one minute in seventh. With the illness subsided, he finally felt he could get the best from his Toyota Hilux. In fact, all Hilux were in the top eight today, with Fernando under eight minutes back in sixth. No issue, he benefited from having experienced Mark Comer beside him. NASA is still fighting for victory. A stage win was in his grasp if it wasn't for a puncture. In the end, he was three minutes 22 back behind the two mini buggies and remains second overall. One of the things I love about this Dakar world is you bump into all kinds of amazing people in amazing places. Friend of the family, Chris, what on earth are you doing in Saudi Arabia? I've always followed Dakar Rally right from uh, as a kid. And uh, looking at the Dakar Rally, it's one of the biggest endurance events in the world, you know. Um, but I've only ever watched it on television. I've never actually been on the event. So to come here for the first time, to witness the scale of it, the enormity of it, it's blown me away completely. Uh, you have no idea what this event is about until you actually come and follow it and, and witness it. It's lovely to see you hanging out here with your Toyota Gazoo racing friends and, and being part of this. This is possibly an opportunity for you to progress your Dakar career. Like I say, I'm passionate about this type of uh, endurance event and certainly being part of the Toyota family up to now, I'd love that to, to continue and see if we can uh, work on an opportunity to, to, to stay together in the future and, and do many Dakar. For all my career in, in World Rally, You've been training yourself to take the absolute ultimate from the machine. You can't necessarily do that in Dakar. Your approach has to change completely. My time in World Rally has given me the skills to, to handle a car on, on any type of terrain at speed. Let's see, for me personally, yeah, I, I'd love to be part of Dakar in the future.